Shai Shalom. Kahalolim, La Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Hakadash, double honor to the head elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, Akim, and a few sisters here and abroad. Yeah, I got an article here from the New York Times just today. Volcano erupts in southern Caribbean. La Soufrere on the main island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines last erupted in 1979, but recent activity had alarmed disaster management officials who urged residents to evacuate. Kingstown, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, a volcano in the southern Caribbean that had been dormant for decades erupted on Friday spewing clouds of ash and smoke miles into the sky. The volcano, known as La Soufrere, on the northern tip of the main island of St. Vincent in the Grenadines, had started showing signs of renewed activity in late December. It moved into an explosive state on Friday morning, the National Emergency Management Organization said in a Twitter. The Soufrere has moved into an explosive state, plumes up to eight kilometers. Ash fall expected within five minutes. The eruption came a day after officials had raised the alert level following several small tremors detected at the volcano with clouds of steam seen erupting from its peak. The country's Prime Minister Ralph Gonsalves ordered a full evacuation of the area. All arrangements have now kick-started and the process begins, Mr. Gonsalves said at a news conference on Thursday. I want to urge all our people to be calm. Do not panic, the Prime Minister said. With God's grace, we will get through this very well. As of Friday morning, close to 20,000 people had been evacuated from the area surrounding the volcano, according to officials. The population of the main island of St. Vincent had been on edge for months in fear of an eruption. Some still vividly recall La Soufrere's last eruption in 1979, which hurled debris thousands of feet but caused no fatalities thanks to a hastily arranged evacuation of residents to local beaches. Its ash reached as far as Barbados, 100 miles east. An earlier eruption in 1902 killed nearly 1,700 people. Cecilia Jewett, 72, a roads supervisor with the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, said she suffered through the 1979 eruption and recalled the scenes of the panic and the desperate scramble for water, the sky darkened by ash and the overpowering stench of sulfur. Her father, she said, experienced a deadly 1902 event and told stories of victims buried in ash and corpses lying in the streets. See? How terrible is that? Those stories come back to my mind on hearing that the Le Soufrere was acting up. She recalled when interviewed last December, it's just too much. These young people would not understand. They think it's just an explosion. The sulfur what it get, does to your eyes, your breathing, your very existence. She continued, it was a time I would not want to relive. All right, so you get the point, right? Well, let me finish it out. <laughs> Government officials began conducting outreach last winter in areas closest to the volcano, briefing residents on evacuation protocols in case of an eruption. Mr. Gonsalves said in an interview in January, the Prime Minister acknowledged then the challenges of conducting emergency operations during the pandemic, but said that strict health protocols like the obligatory use of masks and social distancing where, where possible would be in place during evacuations and in shelters. St. Vincent and the Grenadines has a population of 11, I'm sorry, 110,000 spread across three dozen islands. Most people live around the capital, Kingstown, on the southwestern coast of St. Vincent Island. Though known as a boater's paradise, the country also has high rates of poverty and unemployment. So now, let's go to the scriptures. All right. 
Because obviously, the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, is angry at you, Jakes, man. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. Yeah, that's dealing with you, you Israelites. All right. You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right. You see on that article, the Most High had a, a volcano that hasn't erupted since 1979 happened this morning. All right. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand. And this is what's going on. Earth, because if you know, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, volcanoes are caused by uh, earthquakes. Okay? Volcanoes are caused by uh, pretty much a tremor, or tremor, tremors inside of the earth. Okay? So, a uh, volcano is also part of an earthquake. And we got uproars of the people in the world. We got a lot of turmoil going on in the world with, you know, protests and, you know, C-19, vaccine, all of that. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. See? These are the times we end. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby you have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. All right, let's keep going. I mean, this is plain, right? Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Think about that. That's a tormenting thing. To live in a uh, on an island that has a volcano that could, that could erupt. <laughs> okay? Just saying. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, see? And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it okay the same must know it after death by pain all right one more <laughs> and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when but inquire how the righteous shall be saved whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. And the righteous begins with Hamashiach Yehoshai, Tazadak, pursuing the uh, first John. Okay? And that's whose kingdom is going to be ushered in, man, once this Edomite rulership is finished and over with. And you Jakes out there in the, in the you know, tribe of Benjamin in particular, out there in St. Vincent, the Lord is visiting you. You know? So... Hey, Lord willing, till next time, shalom.